everybody, this is Woody Dashcam. Right now we are heading over the bridge, Marine Parkway Bridge, to Breezy Point. I figured I'd start the video here, it's kind of cooler to see you going over the bridge. So today's video is on Breezy Point, but before we get to that, I did make a Mooney dash cam Instagram. So if you want to go ahead and follow that, I'll be posting daily pictures of just stuff that I see all around while I'm working all throughout New York City. All right, so Breezy Point is comprised of three neighborhoods. One of the neighborhoods is Roxbury, which we're in now. Next spot I can turn, I turn into it. In general, Breezy Point is small, but these are very small neighborhoods. Oh, private property. Okay. I guess we can't go through here. It's only about two blocks. Now I'm backing up onto a main road, so this is a little dangerous, but I have no other options, do I? I think no cars are coming. Okay, maybe there's another way in that doesn't have a gate. I doubt it, but we'll see. So yeah, right now we're in the Roxbury neighborhood. To the left, to the south, is a bunch of fields, baseball fields and stuff like that. Looks like a lot of it's really not in use anymore. Um, but, let's see if we can get in. I doubt we can get in here at all. It looks pretty locked down. But we're going to continue onward. Yeah, I guess in commercial vehicles. I'm sure I could try and get in there, but I don't know how that would really work out. So, we're going to skip that area. Wish we could go in, but I'm not trying to have any trouble with the locals here. So like I said, there's three neighborhoods. One's Roxbury, it's by the bridge. It is uh, by the Marine Parkway Bridge. And then we're passing that now. We're going to Rockaway Point, which is between Ocean Avenue and Beach 201st Street. And then past Ocean Avenue is Breezy Point. That's uh, really where we're going. These guys behind me want me to go pretty quick. Okay, we're heading down to Breezy Point. And then just past Breezy Point is Gateway National Recreation Area, which is a 200-acre protected, um, I guess, national park type area. And down there now, we'll see more of that. So, a little bit of facts about the area. It's only 0.78 square miles, so not even a full square mile. gotta pay attention here. I've never been to Breezy Point, so I'm learning just as much as you guys. I did know some facts before I came here, of course. Uh, there's about 4,000 people that live here year-round, but in the summer, it jumps up to about 12,000. So it's a big summer area. The median income is 86,000. So, pretty decent amount of money around the area. Probably no trespass. Okay, so right now we're in Rockaway Point. This is the neighborhood. So, like I said, it's median income is like 86,000. I did learn that it's the second highest population in the zip code of Irish Americans in America. Um, I looked up the first and all that was coming up was Breezy Point. So I don't really know what the first is, but it seems like it's Breezy Point. So there you go. One of the biggest populations of Irish Americans. 
It was actually since the mid 90s. It was called the Irish Riviera. So that tells you how um, how popular it is. And then within since then, a lot of Italians and Jewish people moved into the area. So that made it the population of Irish go down a little bit, but still it's a very big population. Every single road you turn down here has a gate. So I don't know if I could go down any of these roads. As crazy as that sounds. Every single road I'm passing has a gate. I do have the excuse of I'm coming here to buy a car, but I don't know if I want to use that. Also, I don't want to be trespassing and filming it, you know? Who knows what kind of trouble I could get in with that. But we'll go as far down as we can. It still is an interesting neighborhood just to look at while we pass through. Let's see how far we are now. Right, I guess we just continue on this road since we can't turn anywhere. But this area in the 60s was the community purchased it for $11 million and each of the residents owns a part of the community, which I think is kind of cool to have like a share in the community. Um, they have their own private security, and they have three of out of nine New York City volunteer fire departments. Uh, there's only nine in New York City, and three of them are here. That's pretty crazy. Um, all right, so we're gonna get into a little bit of the disaster part of this area. In September, in September of 2012, this is a dead end. Let's go down. There. In September of 2012, September 8th to be exact, a water spout that was off the coast of the Atlantic. I'm going to have to turn around here. Four-wheel drive permit holders only. Private property. Okay, we're turning around. Wow, you really can't go down any roads here unless you're a resident. They really make it like that. I guess I understand they do they do kind of own this community. Just trying not to get ourselves stuck in the sand here. Ah well this isn't fun. Oh, but just past that gate that I just turned is the Breezy Point Surf Club where the water spout turned into a tornado turned into a tornado and made a landfall there and it um, damaged the pool knocked down power lines and ripped the roofs off some of the cabanas so it's pretty powerful and that was in September of 2012 and then in October October 29th 2012 Hurricane Sandy made a landfall in New York which decimated this area I mean I don't use that word lightly um, it connected Jamaica Bay, which is to the north, and the Atlantic Ocean to the south. It connected over the peninsula. So you really... We were underwater here. Totally underwater. And then, due to the flooding, emergency services couldn't get around. And on 173 Ocean Avenue is the address that uh, an electrical fire started started to burn. Emergency services couldn't get near the fire. By the time it was all said and done and people could get over there, 130 homes were burned completely to the ground. 50 were damaged by the fire, not completely ruined. And 41 people were rescued by the fire department. That's how crazy it got around here. So almost all of these houses that you're looking at are either new construction, totally refurbished, lift it up and any of them that aren't 
are still destroyed. I'm sure there are still a few that haven't been restored since Sandy, since 2012. Now, eight years ago, crazy to think about, almost nine years ago. Do we try and go down one of these roads here? I don't want to step on anyone's toes, but... Let's just try and turn and see. No, you need a ticket. You need, you need a little scanner thing to actually get past any of these gates. As crazy as that is. They really keep their stuff on lock over here. They want to keep their community a private community. And you know what? I have to respect that. I have to respect that. All right, so I know that was a little anticlimactic, but that was a little tour of Breezy Point, as much as I could show. Like I said, I did just make an Instagram, Mooney-Cam on Instagram. I'll be posting daily on there. Um, all different crazy things I see in the boroughs, the places that I eat, stuff like that. And uh, like, comment, subscribe always helps out the channel. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.